Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about shooting for people with bifocals, okay? Uh, now, if you're not familiar with the situation, this is a situation where you wear, you know, you your glasses have a, a little line going across the, the bottom one-third here. And basically the bottom uh, one-third of your glasses has one prescription for seeing up close. And the bottom, the top, sorry, the top two-thirds has a different prescription uh, for seeing far away, okay? Now, for people who, who wear these bifocals, um, you know, they have a problem with using iron sights because what happens when they, when, when they present and they're looking at the sights, you know, if they're, you know, basically in order to see the sights, they pretty much have to lift their head up like this so they're looking at the bottom. And, and in this situation, they, see, they can see the sights on the gun, but they can't see the target in the distance, okay, at, at all in most cases, okay. Uh, if they put their head down like this so they're looking over the top two-thirds, uh, they can see the target in the distance pretty good, but they cannot see the sights at all, okay, so it's a complete blur. Okay, um, so so a lot of times I'm training people to have this situation, um, you know, and, and it helps if they tell me in advance because I can I can offer them a couple of solutions in advance before they even you know before they come to me or I go to them for the training, um, and and uh, you know one of the easy solutions is I'll tell them is, um, you know, if you if you're keeping your old your old glasses, look through those prescriptions, try try out those glasses, or bring them to me and we'll try them out, because what happens is your your eyes. Um, you know, as they change over the years, you know, some of those old prescriptions, they may not be perfect for seeing far away, they may not be perfect for seeing close, but they might be a suitable uh, compromise in the middle, okay, uh, where, where you can see your sights and you can see your, your, your target at about, you know, uh, you know, at a, about 20 or 30 feet, okay. Uh, so, so that's one solution that has come up uh, and it's worked for a few people, okay. Um, you know, another solution would be if, you don't, if, you don't, if you're not keeping your old glasses, uh, go to the optometrist, okay, explain your situation, tell them that, listen, you know, I shoot and my sights are, let's say, about a foot out. My target's usually 20 to 30 feet out when I'm shooting with a pistol. Um, and so I need to be able to see from, from one foot out uh, to about 20 to 30 feet. Um, and basically, he'll do a bunch of tests. He's got that machine with all the lenses on it, and he'll help you find a prescription where you can see within that limited range of, of, of one foot going out to let's say 30 feet okay um, you know that that so that's another possibility that will work and and glasses are pretty cheap to get these days I mean you, you know uh, you can go online uh, I think it's zennyoptical.com uh, they, they sell gla glasses for as cheap as um, as cheap as ten dollars okay uh, and you can get goggles like these for about twenty to thirty dollars if you get goggles like this make sure that the that the arms are flat okay you don't want ones that stick out too much because what happens is when you put that head, the, the earmuffs on, uh, it'll dig them into your head. So you want you want flat arms that don't stick out. Okay, um, so 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 that's a that's a possibility. You can basically get yourself a prescription, uh, and, you know, and, and it won't be bifocals. It'll just be a single you know a single prescription that that will accommodate that one foot to about thirty feet. Okay, um, and I have found that, that that works for a lot of people pretty good. Okay, uh, another, the third option, right, that works pretty good is just using a red dot. Okay, uh, with the red dot, what happens is, like I have on this rifle, okay, um, you know, when you when you lift the, the rifle up and you look at the, at the target in the distance, okay, you see the target, and basically the red dot kind of just floats out there in the distance, okay, um, and that would work the same way on, on the pistol. Um, so in that case, you would just wear a pair of glasses that only had the prescriptions for seeing in the distance, uh, you don't have to worry about, about seeing up close. Because like I said, the, the red dot appears out in the distance. Uh, and that will work pretty good, okay? Um, so th there's three options that, that you guys can try out. Try out your old prescriptions, you know, or go to the doctor and get a new prescription that will accommodate one foot to 30 feet, uh, or use a red dot, okay? Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.